The first method or technique that you need to know to print in AutoCAD is to print from model space. So as you can see over here uh, on the uh, left down corner, it says model, right? And it it's uh, selected. So sometimes we need to print from model space. And most of the time we need it so we can have a reference, right, of our drawing. So in order to do that, again, um, on the ribbon, there is an output tab. So if we click on it, we will have the option over here to plot. So plot or print, people use the term. Um, so it doesn't really matter, it is the same. So you can click plot or you can use the shortcut. It's control P. So let's do that, control P on my keyboard. And so you can see now that I will have the following dialog box. So of course, I want to continue to a plot single sheet over here. So I'm gonna click, do not show me this again. So I'm gonna click again, continue to plot single sheet. And then we will have the plot dialog box. Again, this first method is how to print in AutoCAD from model space. And so once we have this, let's select our printer from here by expanding this. And my printer is this one, the 3640 series. So I'm gonna select that. And then I will need to pick my paper size. So my paper size, um, uh, 11 by 17, that's fine for this example. And then where it says plot area, uh, we will need uh, the window option. Why? Well, let me move this over here. And what I'm trying to print here is only this drawing, not both floor plans. So that's why we need the window option. So let's click center the plot. So this, the plot is, is on the center. And fit to paper, that's fine because usually from model space, we don't print at one to one scale. We, Usually we print from model only for a reference, right? If we're working on a project and we need to have it print. Over here on the plot style table, if we click on it, right now it says none. But most of the time, if you are working in an office, they will have their own plot style or also called CTB file. For instance, uh, for my... Um, company or channel, I can have a CTV called Lazy Architecto that CTV. So I will be able to select it. But of course, if you don't have, uh, you will have to pick the monochrome CTV. And this is to have your final print black and white, which is most of the time what we, what we do in AutoCAD. So assign this process table to all layouts. I would say no for now. And then, of course, uh, as any other printing program, we'll have the portrait or landscape options. So once we do that, um, it's always a good recommendation to do a preview of your before you print, right? So let's do that by clicking on the preview option. And you can see that nothing is um, showing up. So, Let's fix that. And if we go over here, we have a couple of options. Of course, if we like what we see, we can simply plot from this bottom. But since we don't want that, we're gonna also cancel or close the preview. So we are still on the printing option. And of course, remember I told you I have two drawings. I only wanna print this for reference. This is the second floor plan and this is the first floor plan. So how I'm gonna do it is, we need to specify the window um, by clicking over here, so window. And then following the instructions on the command line, it says specify first corner. Okay, so I'm gonna specify my first corner he here, click. And then it says specify opposite corner. 
So my opposite corner would be over here, click. And now if I do again a preview by clicking the preview option, you can see that my drawing now fits perfectly on my screen. And if this is what I like, I can simply hit the print option over here to plot my drawing to a 11 by 17 inches sheet. You can see over here, and that's how you print in AutoCAD from model space. For the second technique on how to print in AutoCAD, we are gonna do it from paper space.